Hello, this is John with Garfield Heights Coin Club. Follow me as I look through some recently acquired proof sets to see if we can discover any cameos. Now, this is a uh, 57 proof set. These proof sets, if they're considered complete, OGP, there should be two pieces of cardboard as well as a little printed piece of paper. Oftentimes, this little piece of paper is lost, thrown away, uh, but this is required in order for it to be complete. Do people care about this paper? No. Um, you know, they'll take this and just put it in your your own envelope that you purchased from uh, from the store. It's typically about the silver, and you can get them for pretty cheap. And here we go, 1957 proof set. Is that half dollar cameo? Is it cameo? I'm going to try to play with the lighting and the mirrored field and see if we can make a determination. My opinion, this coin is not considered cameo. You want to see a big difference between the field, which is the flat part, and the devices, which is all the stuff that pops up on that coin. You want to see a big difference in the in the color. This is not, in my opinion, this is not cameo. Definitely not deep cameo. Just a standard proof. Here's a 1963. 1963. Uh, again, we have a little piece of paper from the mint. It's been uh, carefully inspected and then sealed. Thank you very much. And and like I said, you know these these sets are not that expensive. You can get them pretty cheap. And. Uh, what am I personally doing? I'm looking for some cameos. So let's take a look. This is the 1963. Is that um, Franklin a cameo? Close up, far away. You know, it, it almost does. You can see it's darker and a little bit lighter. You got that contrast. And I'm going to try to play with the light here. Most of the scratches on these coins are going to be on the plastic. And when I say most, I mean, you know, sometimes there is scratching on the coin itself. Um, and here's another thing. When, when considering Cameo, you've got to make sure you consider both sides. One side of the coin, either the obverse or the reverse, could be Cameo or possibility of cameo and the and the other side not and if both sides are not then it will not receive the cameo designation at least that's what I've, I have found uh, you know I'll be honest with you this 63 might be cameo it might be uh, probably not and then you know what's the risk versus reward for the 63, that's pretty common. And, and you know, you'd have to come in real close with a loop, check all the high points. And, you know, if you get a high grade, if you get a high grade and it is a cameo, okay. But, I mean, you're sending this coin out. It's going to cost you $20, $30 shipping, etc. Uh, and if it just comes back as a standard coin without the cameo designation or even in a low grade it's uh it's not worth it you're actually losing money on it uh so this one here is the 60 and it looks like there was a sticker in there 27 i don't know if that's what the previous person paid or or there was uh, somebody was charging that I, I did not pay that for this i paid much less you know, these, these like I, I said it, I'll say it again. You can get them for silver and maybe a little bit more. Uh, we're looking at the Franklin again. Is this a cameo? Let's play with the light. Let's see if we can get a high contrast. The 
between the field and the devices. And, you know, it might, it might be, but it's questionable. It's questionable. Can we get that on both sides? My opinion, it's not. It is not a, uh, a cameo. Definitely, definitely not a deep cameo. I don't think it's a cameo. You know, and don't forget about all these other coins. There's all these other coins in here, and what what do people do with them? You know, these 1960 proof quarters. You can you can get them cheap, very very cheap. Hey, thank you for uh, walking with me through a couple proof set packs and looking for the cameos. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any winners today. Um, but uh, this is something you guys can do at a local show or a coin shop. Who cares if it has this, this paperwork? Who cares if it has OGP? You know, Take it out. Look at the Franklin. Go close. Go far. Play with the lighting. See if you can get that high contrast between the field, that open space, and the devices, you know, his head, the letters, obverse and reverse, okay? And if you get a high contrast, you might have something special there. Thanks for watching. This is John with Garfield Heights Coin Club. Over and out.